In this video, we will learn how to listen on a socket. When we listen on a socket, we place it in a state where it can accept incoming connections. Let's go to our socket header. We're going to create a new function where we listen. And then we are going to have another argument for the backlog, which will just default to five if nothing is specified. So let's go ahead and create this definition and go into here. So the first thing is before we listen, we have to bind. So we're going to call bind here. So if the bind fails, you know, we'll come back and implement these error codes later, but we'll just return an error code. Otherwise, we are going to attempt to call listen. Now listen has two arguments, a socket handle and the backlog. So we'll pass in the handle and the backlog. Now, like I said, the backlog is how many connections can be pending. So if you want, you know, let's say you're processing one connection and there's five more people that try to connect, they can either, you know, be denied or they can be placed in a queue to be pending connections. Let's take a look at what listen returns. If we take a look at the documentation, listen returns zero on success. Otherwise, it returns a value of socket error. Let's go ahead and see if result is not zero. Otherwise, when we get down here, we will return success. We're also going to store the error in just a temporary variable for now. Let's go to our source CPP for the server. And instead of calling bind here, we're going to call listen. I'm going to socket successfully listening on port 4790 instead of binding. I'm going to attempt to run this and see what happens. All right, socket successfully listening on port 4790 and press any key to continue. In the next video, we are going to look at how to connect from the client and how to accept connections on the server.